we've just finished milling that 20 inch hard maple and I'm sitting on about 80 board feet of lumber that we've got stacked back here on the mill. Uh, that log was 20 inches by about 8 feet. The capacity of the mill is actually 26 inches by 10 feet. So we could have fit a bit bigger log on there. Um, as you saw, 20 inches is a substantial uh, piece of hardwood. When you're working with the big logs, make sure you got you know, five foot cant hook. When you're working with smaller logs or smaller cants, you can get away with a two foot. Now I want to talk about some frequently asked questions we get. So a lot of guys ask us about the blades. So we ship the mill with a Lennox Woodmaster C blade. And uh, that's an off the shelf part. You can buy it at any blade supplier in North America. We do sell them um, in set 10 packs and we recommend you have probably 10 blades on hand. Um, five sharp and five ready to go to the guy who's going to sharpen them. Um, the maintenance on the sawmill. So a lot of guys ask us what's it actually going to take to keep the sawmill running all year long? What's it going to take in terms of expense and cost? So all the parts that are wear items are replaceable at most bearing shops or just over the counter even at hardware stores. So you're going to have guide bearings in the back here. These are three dollars a piece. It's a standard size. You call we can give you the size if you want to source them locally. We do sell them in packs of four. We also have the band wheel bearings, which are inside the cast iron band wheels. They're double stacked, two deep, and they just push out from the back. There's a little clip here. Again, a standard size, off the shelf. We can give you the number. If you can't find them locally, we can UPS them out to you quick. The belts, again, these are just BX series belts. It's a cogged drive belt. Uh, th this one runs loose as a tire to shake off the sawdust and this one runs tight. The tension of this belt is governed by the engine and the engine moves on a sliding plate. So that, that we also have to maintain and lubricate a few things on the machine. And not the bearings, all the bearings are sealed. But there is a, a lead screw for the vertical uh, kind of movement of the saw head. And that can be maintained once a year. You're going to want to disassemble that and grease it and put it back together. You also have your T-handle for tension. And it's got a, an Acme thread and a, and a lead screw as well. And you're going to need to remove that, grease it, and put it back together again annually. Or if you're a really heavy user, maybe twice a year. You'll feel it if it's binding as opposed to tightening. And then it's time to, to give it some grease. So maintenance-wise, you're, you're really looking at belts. Um, blades and bearings and again the blades are off the shelf at any blade supplier we do sell them we recommend the Lennox brand we have really good luck with them and they work well the bearings guide bearings band wheel bearings and then there's a few things you got to grease the throttle cable should be lubricated with um, with light oil as well uh, change the engine oil that's standard practice for a small engine and uh, that's you you're, you're milling all year long it, for literally, it's probably a hundred dollars in maintenance items all year. I want to take this time now to thank you for watching the video. And if you have any questions, please give our toll-free line a call or send us an email. Uh, check out the website. We've got a great testimonials page with lots of pictures of customer setups, uh, custom trailers, ground mounts, farm mounts, just out of the crate mounts. There's all sorts of ways to set this machine up. And uh, please browse the website and let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.